Good afternoon, Master Rob. Um, how is your school? Uh, we've been around for 40 years here in the Kendall area. That's awesome. And um, if there was somebody that wanted to come over to the school, someone interested, what would be the, the most important thing you would like to tell them about your school and also about the martial arts industry? Well, basically, uh, we're here for them. We're here to support our community, uh, to give them exactly what they're looking for. Different people are looking for different things. Children might be looking for discipline and focus. Uh, adults might be looking for exercise and discipline as well. So whatever it is that you're looking for, we have it for you. You just have to grasp it, use it, and apply it to your life. That's really cool. Um, so do you have a website or Instagram or social media that you would like to give out? Yeah, we're on all of them. We're on Facebook as Master Rod Bojarquez. Uh, on Instagram, we're at Master Rod's SMD. And uh, our website is uh, rodsmartialarts.com. So, and what is the, the address for here? Uh, it's 14241 Southwest 120th Street uh, in Kendall. So, I've personally been interested for such a long time in the martial arts. And I have a lot of experience myself. Now, what I've realized is a lot of people find the martial arts to be absolutely incredible because it teaches love and passion and discipline. And you've been doing this for how long? For 45 years. For 45 years. That's incredible. I've happened to do a little bit of research and find out that you have been doing it for a long time. And you also received your, your master um, certificate. Um, uh, how was that about? Yeah. How was that right like? Right now, um, I've been promoted to ninth degree black belt, the highest in the world. So I'm a handful of people that have that grade. Uh, and I'm, I'm honored and, and pleased to accept <coughs> that and... and basically to share that knowledge and experience uh, with my students uh, because I think that's what the martial arts is about, is about giving back to the community and giving back to those that uh, want to not just pursue the, the uh, path of being a, a full martial artist, but just to experience what a martial artist is. So out of all the great experiences that you've had, um, the multiple students throughout the years, has there ever been a time where you had the pleasure of helping out somebody that you got to talk to or influence that really stuck inside your mind, inside your heart, that you'd like to share? Um, well, there's a lot of different cases where uh, students of mine have grown up to be uh, very successful. Um, I have one, well, I have, I'll explain one, that he's, he's a young kid, uh, he was a black belt, he was a uh, middle school and then went to high school. And then he went to the military. Uh, and in the military, he joined the uh, uh, Taekwondo team for the US Army. Uh, and then he became uh, captain, then he became the head coach. And today, uh, he is uh, head or president of the all of uh, the World uh, Army Taekwondo organization. Uh, so I'm very proud of him that he, you know, he went from you know, possibly being in the streets, a street kid, to being so responsible and disciplined and focused and taking the art that he started, you know, with me to be able to go and apply it and help people throughout the world. That's absolutely incredible. I, I myself believe that Taekwondo is uh, an incredible martial art, but what would you say to those that think that martial arts is about fighting or just trying to be a tough guy. What would you say to somebody that would ask you, is it about fighting or is it about tough guy or is it about discipline or what? I think um, we've gotten a bad name in the last few years mostly because of mixed martial arts and the UFC and all. Not, you know, and that's not to blame them. It's just how people perceive what they see. And they believe that the martial arts is just going out there and pounding on each other and... and and beating each other and that kind of thing. That's not what martial arts is. And some of the people really that are don't make it, I mean, martial uh, mixed martial arts professional fighting is just the same as boxing. There's millions and millions of people in the gyms working out and wanting to be world champions to make that big money, right? But only a handful really make it. Uh, and so there's a lot of street kids that go in there with a bad attitude. And they continue with that bad attitude because nobody's really training them. See, we're not coaches. Martial arts instructors are not coaches, okay? We're teachers. 
We're here to teach you in your whole aspect of life, not just in the ring. That makes the difference. That's why martial arts is, is more important than going and fighting in a gym. Awesome. And um, I personally believe that martial arts teaches people who are insecure and, and lonely. It teaches them that they are strong, that they are powerful, and that they can accomplish anything. And so I personally have a lot of love and passion for those in the martial arts industry. And Taekwondo specifically is what I learned to be the strongest and most influential martial art in the world. And I also heard that the international levels um, and requirements for those in um, competitions, Taekwondo are supposed to wear the chest protectors and, and the headgear because of the, the powerful strikes from Taekwondo. Um, so what would you say to somebody that was looking at um, karate, jiu-jitsu, judo, taekwondo? What, what martial art would you recommend? And what do you think is the best um, thing for them to do to get into the martial arts? Well, obviously the best martial arts is the one right here. No, just kidding. <laughs> no, no, no. You know what? The best martial arts is not the art. It's the individual, the teacher. Because if you don't make contact, if you don't make a connection, not contact, connection with that teacher, you're not going to absorb everything he's got to teach you. So it's very important that for those parents that are out there looking to put their kids into any martial arts, make sure you sit there, watch the class, see how they interact with the instructor, because that's going to make an impact in that child's life the rest of his life. And so somebody who wants to get into the martial arts, what would you recommend them do? Um, First thing is research. Number one, always first look for the, th the school that is closest to your area because it makes no sense if you're going to have to drive 40, 50 minutes, an hour away. You might do it because, yeah, it's the best school, this and that, but you'll get tired of that. You'll get tired of being stuck in traffic and traveling and what's going to happen? You're going to start missing classes and that's not good. So first find a, a school in your area. Second, when you go to those schools in the areas, do what I just said. Sit there, watch. See how the, the students are treated. How does the instructor go about teaching? Is he yelling and putting down a student? Or is he motivating and being an example for them? Okay, that's super important. Third, then obviously see what your pocket can do. That is awesome. So you've been in the Kendall, um, uh, Kendall area for a long, long, long time. You've also been doing this for 45 years. Um, I've seen that a lot of people have really, really appreciated your school and had admired your school, and you've done a great job. So for those that would like to come on out to um, see how your classes are, um, again, could you give that address and the phone number and the social media um, contact so they can, again, um, have that great opportunity to come to, my, my belief, one of the best, if not the best, schools? Yes. All right, um, again, it's 14241 Southwest 120th Street, Suite 105. And come on down, the first class is free. Again, I just want you to come visit us, get an experience, so we can sit down, we can talk, and see if I have to offer what you need. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, sir, for your time. No, I and I bow before it. you. <laughs> thank you for thank coming you in. Thank you so much. Yes. Master, uh, it's Rob. Rod. Rod, pardon me. Uh, my reading on cursive is getting a little bit better. <laughs> thank you so much, uh, Master Rod.